Not today. He promised my wife I'd eat home for a change. Miss all the latest news. Uh-huh. And arguments. Well, see ya. Say hello to Kelly for me. Hey, pardon me. Yeah? I'm looking for a joint of some sort around here called Scotty's. Uh, can you uh, tell me where it is? Yeah. I can tell you something else, too, mister. What's that? Don't let Kelly hear you call Scotty's a joint. Kelly? Who's Kelly? On the hill to the right. You can't miss it. Oh, and say hello to Kelly for me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hi, right, Johnny. Change, Kelly. Change, Kelly. I must be getting old. I keep hearing echo. Did you get your message on the board, George? Yeah, I saw it when I came in. Good. 85, 90, a dollar. Thanks a lot, George. I'll bet you're Kelly. Well, you wouldn't want to bet with me. I happen to know. I might have guessed it. What'd you say? Uh, well, um, I was looking for a superintendent named Paul Todd. I was told I'd probably find him in here. Well, no, he's not here now, but he usually comes in about this time. Oh, well, I guess I'll wait then. All right. Uh, could I trouble you for a cup of coffee? Trouble? Now, I brought you some more coffee, Kelly. Oh, good. Hey, how about a cup of coffee, huh? Good and hot, easy on the cream, heavy on the sugar. No trouble at all. Russ! How about those twins of yours? I've been saving a page one spot for the news, you know. <laughs> Any day now. Hey, Bill. Yeah? What's all this about? Oh, well, that's all I know about it. Just what it says there. Hey, you got a cigarette? <laughs> oh, thanks. I understand they've already had a program on steel, one on automobiles, now it's railroads. That I want to see. Well, thanks, Pete. Oh, why not? After all, what's more important to the welfare of people and business than the railroads? Sure. But how can they tell the story of the railroads in one program? Maybe with six, but one? Ugh. I've been talking railroading to my wife for 20 years. I haven't repeated myself once. Uh, not funny? Ugh. Not funny. Well, what's so hard? I got all they need for a TV show. Look, every hour, 1,000 trains leave somewhere for somewhere. 4,500 carloads of freight are shipped. 4,500 are received. 15,000 railway express shipments are handled. 1,300,000 pounds of U.S. mail. Yeah, every hour. <laughs> Scotty, you and your facts and figures. Yeah, well, it comes easy after listening to you guys for 15 years. <laughs> Hey, Arf. Oh, thank you. you Say, uh, what's all the fuss about? Fuss? What fuss? You never rode this. Well, you mean it's always like this in here? I have to write this. You should be here when they start discussing baseball. Or better yet, Congress. Like I was telling my brother in law from Detroit. Oh, I forgot your spoon. Back on track one, boys. <laughs> like I was telling my brother in law from Detroit. Sure, I said. Automobiles are mighty important. But how would they make them if it wasn't for the tons of steel the railroads hauled to your factory? Yeah, 25,000 tons a day, along with 450,000 square feet of plate glass, 900,000 pounds of copper, and... Oh, sorry, Russ. Why pick autos? Bill? Hey, sorry. How would you make anything without railroads? Refrigerators, breakfast food, airplanes, you name it. Here you are. Tell me, don't you get tired of railroad talking here all the time? No, I like it. Why? Oh, just curious. You see, I'm not a railroad man. Oh, not really. So maybe it's hard for me to swallow all this talk about how important railroads are. After all, almost everything I buy seems to be delivered to my house by truck. Uh -huh. After it's first been hauled by railroads, about a hundred or a thousand miles. Change, Kelly. Excuse me. Who's the city boy, Bill? Never saw him before. Maybe they ought to put a memory genius like Scotty on this TV show. <laughs> hey, how about that? Oh, he's only kidding, Scotty. Oh, no. <laughs> well, maybe some MC fella gets me up there and asks me questions about the railroads. Tries to stop me, see? Might be terrific. I'll take wrestling. Maybe they'll call me the human encyclopedia. Oh, brother.
How much railroad track in the nation maybe this fellow has? Right off, I tell him. Nearly 400,000 miles. How much freight do the railroads haul? More tons of freight, more miles than all other forms of transportation put together. How much taxes do the railroads pay in a year? One billion, two hundred and fifty million dollars. How much does it cost to haul a ton of freight a mile by railroads? Averages less than a cent and a half. You can't stop me, you see. Then maybe he turns to the studio audience and he says, anybody in the audience got a question to ask? Yes, I have. What happened to those ham and eggs I ordered? <laughs> coming up, coming up. But don't forget, these are hauled by the railroads, too. Yes, I know. You know, maybe Scotty's got something there. On that 400,000 miles of track business, I mean. Or built, paid for, and maintained by the railroads. Don't forget that. And with every mile of line, you got a cash investment of $110,000. Don't forget that. And maybe that's the story this TV program ought to tell. Suppose you took just one moment. You showed the people what's happening on the railroad tracks of the nation in a single moment. That'd be something, wouldn't it? And see the headline. Editor turns TV producer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but look. Now maybe you have this fellow as he's sort of a... Well, sort of a narrator. While he talks, you show pictures of what's happening along the 400,000 miles of track. Maybe he'll start off by saying, right at this moment, right while you're thinking about it. At this moment, as in every moment of America's history, the wealth of the nation lies dispersed far and wide throughout a vast continent. To make this reservoir of wealth useful, huge quantities of raw materials must be moved regularly to the centers of production. Finished goods must move freely to the marketplaces of the nation and the world. In the endless and indispensable movement of materials and goods, the greatest role is that played by the railroads of America. At this moment, the railroads are hauling the food products on which the health and vitality of the nation depend. moving the endless variety of raw materials which the industries of the nation will refine, convert, fabricate, process, and manufacture. carrying the finished products of industry and agriculture which the people of the world will buy, sell, and use.
the welfare of the nation depends upon its railroads. The welfare of the nation depends on the railroads. I wonder just how many people up and down all the main streets realize that. 